And we go racing in Suzuka. It's a really good start from Numinami. But can he find the gap between Beckett and Doggy Falcons? This is exactly what Doggy Falcons wanted. Because Numinami has passed Beckett. Coming out of turn 2 into P2. Lasso, meanwhile, has kept his P4. Because uh, Randall has moved up and Shears has spun at the back of the field with Ruff. So both of uh, those drivers that I don't think have scored a lot of points or any, if at all, uh, have had a torrid start again at the start of this race. Tom is diving it down the inside of Jar. What an opportunistic move into the spoon curve. And that is brave and brilliant from the Ferrari driver. Tom has made up four positions now on the opening lap, but John wants to retaliate now. He's right in the slipstream of Tom. But he can't do anything about it because Tom is also using his, trying to latch onto the rear end of Leo as Rendo goes down the inside of Larson because he's also starting on those uh, red wards, soft tires. Verdex tries to get a better exit compared to Larson, but he's uh, running to the back of him in the process of doing so. Verdex is deploying all of his overtake, but Larson is defending the middle line. Verdex is going to try to go around the outside of tier one, but he couldn't do so. Larson puts his car in the middle and defends P5 from the Rising Point driver. But there's no way through in the first sector unless Ooh, someone makes a mistake off. like Waffle. Yep. So after starting from P11, he's now down to P19. Of another speed to go side by side with him, but he's got a terrific accident. He's running to the back of Larson again. His accident coming out of the final corner is too good. <laughs> and he kept running into the back of Larson because of it. But this time, Verdex does make the move stick and up into P5. Goes the racing point. Oh, and Krico and Phoenix had contact. Because they're on completely different strategy, and Phoenix on the soft tires are definitely faster, and Ruff has spun again. So, this is the second time the Ferrari driver has spun, and he's uh, having a lot of opposite lock trying to keep the, uh, keep the car stick on the uh, tarmac. Race. Oh, no, Larson Larson is, is out. out. Yep. As the race is back on the way, under green flag condition, did someone jump any positions? I don't think so. Tom is still right on the back of Leo, but John has lost some contact. Ooh, and Waffle could just evade Spicy. I have no idea what happened there. Spicy <laughs> the lost it drunk. coming out of the hairpin, and uh, Waffle went to his outside just in time. That's uh, doing it out. Currently all out of points, but if anyone in front of them crashed out, and that has happened! That's uh, Stanley. That's very much a commentator's curse because Stanley, in front of uh, <laughs> the three of them, have fully crashed out. He's lost his right front wheel, and another virtual Whoops. safety guy has been deployed as a result of that. Once the green flag resumes, and Renzo gets a drive through penalty for speeding under the virtual safety guy. Genji is only three. Oh, Cranky's going for the overtake on Marco. Yeah, that's the one that makes it stick. Genji is also right up to the back of Marco now. Is Marco losing some pace? Yep, he will. There's no defending on that for Numi. As Renzo pitted. Is he doing the drive through? Yeah, he is doing the drive through. Tom has a chance. Tom has a chance on Verdex. He's uh, in the slipstream. He's gone to the outside of Verdex. And he's going, trying to go all the way around the outside of turn two. He's trying to stay there, but Verdex squeezes him. Onto the edge of the track, and Verdex keeps his P3. That was very close. <laughs> As Brisson just said, a wild HCE appeared. Good time to come in, <laughs> because I didn't see that one happening. Oh, Ascanji gets a huge moment there. He's decided to use the better line. This is going to be a great exit from the Ferrari driver. And Verdex only has 15% of overtake to defend. Surely this time Tom is going to get in. Verdex yep. defends the middle line. Tom goes to the inside. This time, Verdex couldn't fight it anymore. Tom takes P3 from Verdex. And John also goes to the inside of Leo and takes P5 away from the Renault driver. So John has uh, also gone alive here. So we have flag. a yellow flag. It's DC. DC. Yeah. Yep. He's spun coming uh, out of Dekna 2. His best finish so far. His ace as a reserve in tier 1 here. But now Waffle is on the back of Genji. He's using all of his overtake. He's gone to the inside. And he's uh, done the move. Ruff goes deep. Oh, no. <laughs> ah, good space given difference. from both. 
Yeah, the speed difference too much between the two drivers. That was a send that Rendo didn't want to do, but Ruff went so deep himself into the airpen. So Rendo has to send it. So Tom is just about not going to get held up by Leo. So I think he will still emerge in front of Verdex as Cranky comes here with Marco. So Waffle has effectively gone for the undercut on Cranky and Marco. Maybe he can undercut both of them. Where's Numinami? Here comes Numinami. He's in front of Tom, obviously. Where is John? John has passed Verdex. So the undercut did definitely work there for John. That's about three seconds. He's undercut there. I think two and a half at least. But he's half a second in front, so he has undercut by three seconds. Tom is going for the overtake on Numi now. Yep. And he's done it. Numi now didn't fight that one. And Berka has come out behind all of them. Look at where Berka is. He's P6. Oh, wow. So, maybe, just maybe, Doggy Falcons is going to wrap up the championship. John is getting patient behind Numinami with a lot of position changes up behind them. Oh, no, Genji. And Phoenix almost made contact into turn one. Waffle has made, uh, well, he's took full advantage of that one because he's also going around the outside of Phoenix to make himself P9 now. John will get the usage of DRS and overtake to try to pass Numi Nami and surely he's going to do so. But he himself also doesn't have a lot of overtake. He's going to die one. This is going to be very Ooh, late into turn one. Close. Goes John. He's done it. That Moving was a goes really wide. close move. <laughs> Yep. As Verdex is now also the there. Yep. Verdex needs to make the move, otherwise John's going to pull away. But this is Sector 1 in Suzuka. This is nothing as Waffle goes down the inside of Genji into turn 1. Genji goes wide and picks up a 3 second penalty. And Phoenix has uh, gone down the inside of Marco. And Phoenix lost 2 positions in the space of 1 straight to both Cranky and Marco. So those medium tires are definitely not working right now. And the medium to soft strategy is definitely the better one, as uh, we have discovered a lot of times. As Krico actually is battling with Spicy, one on 14 level hard, the other on one lap fresh soft. Someone spawned, that's Phoenix. So, so he was definitely his, uh, struggling. Yeah, he's lost his P12 position to Renzo now, it's out of the points, but Verdex, he's getting held up so much by Numi Nami. Those medium tires, those uh, soft to medium strategy. It's definitely not working for the Alfa Romeo driver, as he is now literally a sitting duck. Verdex pulls out and goes through. Berka is going to be a freight train. This is Berka going around the outside. Oh. Oh, no, what a save. What a save from Numi Nami. Berka, meanwhile, has gone to the inside of Verdex. They're going side by side through the Shikai. Berka will get a better exit, but Verdex should have a DRS on Jong, does he? Yes, he does. But he's on no overtake. Birkin has. Verdek goes to the inside. Is he defending? Yes, he is. But he's got nothing against Birkin. Birkin is trying to go around the outside of Verdek and done it perfectly for Birkin, who was up back in fourth place. But he still needs to recover his lost ground because of the power of undercut from John. That's Krico facing the wall on the main straight. So he's also lost it coming out of the final corner. And on those 14 lap old hard tires, surely he's going to pit for a brand new set of softs and try to go for the fastest lap, or they won't get any points. But burkin has got a terrible accident coming out of the hairpin because Verdex right on the back of it. Burkin is doing all of it overtake. Burkin's gone to the inside of John into the spoon curb. John is turning in. Burkin is uh, trying to leave space to John. John has tapped Burkin into half speed. But Verdex couldn't take advantage of it, and now Leo is coming. The, the, all three CRL guys are in the, in the line here trying to attack John. Burke is slipping, slipstreaming John. Who's gonna be ahead into the Shakai? Burke has gone to the outside of John, trying to switch to the inside. I don't want to move from Burke. But John has kept it going around the outside. There's another little tap between the Mercedes and the Alphatari. And Burke gets a terrible accident because of it. Burke is now right. Under pressure from Verdex, from Leo. Leo is the best one because he's getting the triple slip stream, but he can do absolutely nothing about it as turn one approaches. Berker has uh, gone really deep, but trying to fight with John, and all of this is helping Doggy Falcon. Then Tom, as someone spins at the back of the field, that is Krieko again. He's done to P18. He'll pass Genji into P9. So good. As John goes wide. Yes, Berker is alongside John and pulling ahead on the main straight or on the back straight, I should say, going into 130R. Verdex is stealing the slipstream. Berker has come ahead of John. They're going three wide into the chicane. Verdex backed out of it. John almost went to the back of Berker. John is going to get a better exit than Berker. Coming out of the chicane, he has 20% ERS to use. 
but can also has 15% Sumi Nami picks up penalty, so he won't definitely be in this top six fight. As oh my goodness, Berker is uh, defending the outside, defending the inside, but there's nothing he can do about John. John just has that uh, five more percent of overtake and goes around the outside of Berker into turn one and tries to retake on P3. John gets shaky coming out of the spoon curb, but the accident was clean actually. Berkham, though, is writing the slipstream. Both of them on 12% overtake. Exact the same number. Berkham is closing in because <gasps> the slipstream. Oh, he's tapped him. He's tapped him. Oh, my goodness. The car control both drivers. But that means Verdex is down the inside of Berkham. Berkham leaves the space. But he's going to get a poor exit because of the dive from Verdex. So John should survive this lap again. That was really close because uh, Berkham had so much slipstream onto John. Into one early out. They made slight contact. And that, that was almost going to end in disaster. John has gone wide in turn two. Berker couldn't get a better exit or couldn't get down the inside of uh, John. There was about half a cast whiz down the inside. So not well, not wide enough, apparently. But Kat, Tom is four tenths behind Doggy Falcons. And he has 10% more overtake. Berker is on the inside of John. Meanwhile, I um, have not enough eyes to watch Pretty both cool, battles. Actually. Pretty cool. Berk has taken a lot the of P3 stuff going position on at the moment. before turn one this time, so John will become the attacker as Tom is on the back of Doggy Falcons. He's trying to go to the outside of Doggy Falcons. Doggy Falcons is on the inside. Tom turns in, and Tom leads. More After than enough space, P12, yeah. 12, John is on the outside of Berk. But he couldn't make the move. Oh, Berk has defended the inside line and defended well. So Berk has finally taken P3. Does John have anything to say about it? Because he's on two lap older tires. Yep. Is his tires falling off? Finally. His best finish was a P6, but I believe he only did one or two races. As a reserve, oh, Verdex crashed into John. And Leo has lost it behind him. So John has uh, braked early into the hairpin because his tires are falling off. So Verde is giving him a lap tap, and now into the spool, curb, and you can see Verde is breaking lighter than John every single corner yep. because of the tire performance. But this has meant that John won't get there. In fact, Verde is trying to pass John before the start finish straight. His second back fire for the racing point driver, John is literally touching him into the final chicane. He's forced Verde to go defensive. He's going to try to get a better exit. Which he is gonna get. Doggy Falcons, meanwhile, is closing in on Tom. Is he close enough? Is he close enough? One test, wild half test. No, he's not close enough. He dived. He's gone for it into turn two, but not close enough. John, meanwhile, is on the outside of the Verdex. I'm gonna watch from Leo as they go side by side through turn two. John's gonna try to head right out of the outside of turn two. What a move. What a fantastic move from John to retake P4 of the race. Some serious racing going on right now. Is for the oh my goodness gracious me, so that's him out of the contention then, of the podiums. So is he going to let Leo go, and let Leo try to attack John, or is he going to try to attack John himself? For that because race. I, think, I, would, I would think that they are in the same voice chat. Doggy Falcons is only three and a half tenths behind Tom. Does he have one final gasp? No he doesn't, because there's less ERS compared to Tom, so Tom is driving away. From Doggy Falcons coming out of Spoon Curb. And this is an incredible, incredible effort from the Ferrari driver. As Tom enters the final three corners. Has two chicanes and the final corner to go. And this is his maiden victory. Exotic Racing Series. Tom wins from Doggy Falcons. And Birkin will take P3. So the championship goes on to the final racing Monaco in a week's time. As John takes P4 in front of Verdex. But because of the penalty, Leo will take P5 from Verdex. Numinami finishes in P7 after the uh, wrong strategy is still proven his pace. And uh, Waffle will finish in P8 after dropping down to P19 at the start of the race. So, after starting from P12, the Ferrari driver, Tom has won this Japanese Grand Prix. Doggy Falcons takes P2 after being overtaken on the Panama lap of the ride, but he will take one extra point because of the fastest lap. So he will take 19 points away. That is 192 points now for Doggy Falcons. Bergen takes P3. 15 points added on to 153. It's 168. So there is a gap of 24 points between Doggy Falcons and Bergen. I believe... That's the same as the tier two, because I think Damon is also leading by 24 points over uh, Spicy. If I'm wrong, don't call me on that. But um, 
it's it's almost it's close yeah one it's guy has really to wait, close yeah the other has the dnf but it's still within the mathematical possibility of it chong finishes in p4 after once again an excellent drive starting from p9 I have Leo Verdax, Numinami, Waffle, Cranky, and Marco Raniel, the point paying positions. Genji Rendell, Phoenix, Spicy, DC, Shares, and Rob, the rest of the finishers with Creek of Stanley and Larson. Dunafi, sometime during the race. What a race there.